Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about Kruskal's algorithm. Kruskal's algorithm is used to find the minimum spanning tree of a given weighted graph. Suppose we have to find the minimum spanning tree of a weighted graph G by Kruskal's algorithm. Then, first we will write all edges of graph G in increasing order by weight and we will put each vertex of graph G in a separate set. Then we will scan edges of graph G written in increasing order by weight. If we encounter an edge UV such that vertex U and vertex V are in separate sets, then we will select this edge UV to include in minimum spanning tree and we will unite the sets containing vertex u and vertex v into a new set which will be the union of these two sets the set containing vertex u and the set containing vertex v it will be more clear after this example now suppose this weighted graph is given to us and we have to find the minimum spanning tree of this weighted graph by using Kruskal's algorithm, right? First of all, we will write all edges of this graph in increasing order by weight, right? So here we have written all the edges of this graph in increasing order by weight, right? Now see, edge AB has minimum weight. Its weight is one. So first of all, we have written the edge AB, right? Then we have written the edge CF, right? Its weight is 2, right? Its uh, weight is larger than that of edge AB, but smaller than all other edges of this graph G, right? So here we have written all the edges of uh, this graph in increasing order by weight, right? Now, we have put all vertices of this graph in a separate set, right? This graph has these vertices A, B, C, D, E and F, right? So here we have put all these uh, vertices in separate set, right? Now we will scan all the edges uh, of uh, this graph which are written in increasing order by weight, right? First of all, we will check this edge AB, right? Now, vertex A and vertex B, both are in different sets. So we will select this edge to include a minimum spanning tree, right? And we will unite the sets containing vertex A and vertex B because they both are in different sets, right? So here we will unite these two sets. Right, so we will get a new set which will be the union of these two sets. The sets which contain vertex A and the set which contains vertex B. Now we will check the next edge, right? The next edge is CF, right? Now again the vertex C and vertex F both are in different sets. So we will select this edge to include in minimum spanning tree and we will unite the sets containing vertex C and vertex F right here we have united the sets containing vertex C and vertex F so this set is the union of the sets which contain vertex C and the set which contain vertex F right now, the next edge is AD, right? Again, the vertex A and vertex D both are in different sets. So, we will select this edge to include in minimum spanning tree, right? Now, we will unite the sets containing vertex A and the set containing vertex D right we will unite 
these two sets the set which contains vertex a and the set which contains vertex t right this new set this set is the union of uh, set containing vertex a and the set containing vertex d now the next edges de now see again the vertex d and vertex e both are in different sets right so what will we do we will select this edge to include in minimum spanning tree right and we will unite the sets containing vertex D and vertex E, right? We will unite the set which contains vertex D and the set which contains vertex E, right? So this set is the union of set which contains vertex D and the set which contains vertex E, right? Now, next edge is B, F. Now see both vertices B and F are in different sets. So we will select this edge to include in minimum spanning tree, right? And we will unite the set containing vertex B and the set containing vertex F. This set contains vertex B and this set contains vertex F. So we will unite these two sets. Right? So here we have united these two sets. Right? So this set is the union of a set containing vertex P and the set which contains vertex F. Right? Now, the next edge is BD. Now see, both vertices B and D are in same set, right? So we will not select this edge to include in minimum spanning tree. Next edge is BC. Again, both vertices B and C are in same set. So we will not select this edge to include in minimum spanning tree. Next edge is BE. Again, both vertices B and E are in same set. So we will not select this edge BE to include a minimum spanning tree. Next edge is EF. Both vertices E and F are in same set. So we will not select this edge to include a minimum spanning tree. Next edge is AC. Both vertices A and C are in same set. So we will not select this edge to include a minimum spanning tree right so here we have selected these edges a b c f a d d e and b f right we have selected these edges to include in minimum spanning tree of this graph right so now we will draw the minimum spanning tree which will be formed of these edges, right? First we will draw the edge AB, right? This is the edge AB, right? Next is edge CF, right? Then edge AD, this is the edge AD, right? Now, A, D, and after this, the edge is D, E, right? Then, the next selected edge is B, F, right? So, this is the minimum spanning tree which is formed by the selected edges A, B, C, F, A, D, D, E and B, F. Right. So, in this way, by using Kruskal's algorithm, 
we can find a minimum spanning tree of a given weighted graph right this tree is the minimum spanning tree of this weighted graph right